The Termite's Nest Item Number SCP-8882 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-8882-1 is to remain inside of a 15 meter by 15 meter room. The walls of the said room must be entirely of concrete, and the inner and outer side of the wall must be coated weakly with potent bug repellent. If any termite-like life forms are found outside of the containment cell, it is to be reported to the on-site staff immediately and be checked for damages inside or outside of the containment cell that might lead to a breach. At least 3D-class personnel wearing protective hazmat suits are to clean the floors and walls of any bug remains and incinerate them. Description SCP-8882 refers to an oak tree approximately 13 feet high and 6 feet in width. SCP-8882's anomalous properties occur every 2 to 5 seconds, at which point at least 6 to 9 termite-like bugs will emerge from the bark and exposed roots of the tree. These termite-like insects closely resemble that of the eastern subterranean termites, although it has been found that all termites that crawl out of SCP-8882 are theorized to be males but with a much greater expansion on their wings, having their wings at least a couple inches larger than normal. Although their size may differ from how they act, they appear to have the exact same behavior of eastern subterranean termites. Addendum. The origin place of SCP-8882 was found near a small forest southern town located in blank state. The small town caught the attention of the Foundation once newcomers and tourists to the town started reporting locally and on social media about the town's supposed yearly holiday on blank called Termitional Day, in which they give material possessions only to be made specifically out of wood to be sacrificed to what they called a termite's nest. Although it is still unknown what their beliefs were for sacrificing the wooden objects, it was enough for the Foundation to get involved and set up a small mobile task force on the set holiday to discover what was going on in the area. After reporting back, it had been discovered that all the townsfolk had gathered up around SCP-8882, which was now completely covered with termites from its roots, but the termites didn't seem to bother with the tree they originated from. Nevertheless, the townsfolk then, one by one, placed the objects about two meters away from SCP-8882 before backing away. Then swiftly, after seven seconds, termites would engulf the object entirely, and after two minutes, the object would be gone completely. This pattern repeated for 20 minutes until it was interrupted with a loud announcement coming from a megaphone which asked all nearby residents to back away from SCP-8882 which then suddenly led to the SCP-8882 being engulfed in a huge flame, which spread around SCP-8882 quickly. The townsfolk immediately evacuated the area, while others tried to put the fires out. The mobile task force then moved near to where the fire had seemingly started from to find a small group of members wearing uniforms with the GOC logo, and one of the said members were holding some form of highly powered flamethrower. As the small group saw the mobile task force, they quickly retreated, and although the mobile task force tried to engage the group, it was not deemed necessary, as SCP-8882 had succumbed to the flames, leaving no traces of it left. File Update Recovered mobile task force Revealed agent blank complaining about an itch and feelings of a crawling sensation. Arriving back at site blank it was found that agent blank was carrying a small instance of SCP-8882, which had let termites crawl inside of Agent Blank's suit. After a deep cleaning of Agent Blank and their suit, the small instance of SCP-8882, now referred to as SCP-8882-1, has been given special containment procedures 